In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to a powerful concept that has transformed not just my life, but also the lives of every client and person I've encountered. This concept is known as the mirror principle. By the end of this video, you will understand how this principle works, the four essential laws you need to know to manifest your dream life, the keys to unlock these laws, and real-life examples of people who have successfully applied them. This principle enabled me to leave my job that left me feeling stuck and unfulfilled. I transitioned to pursuing something I am passionate about, growing it into a seven-figure business, and ultimately living my dream life. This video is likely to be one of the most valuable resources you find on YouTube, possibly even more valuable than some paid programs. I urge you to pay close attention and save this video for future reference because the mirror principle is truly transformative. Before we start, subscribe to my channel as it helps me grow and you'll also be sure that you'll never miss any of our new updates. Let's dive in and explore the fundamental idea behind the mirror principle. Our outer world reflects our inner world. Everything we see around us, our current circumstances, is a reflection of our internal state. Remember this key point. The outer world is a mirror image of our inner world. I believe this principle is so powerful because every expert on the law of attraction, including Neville Goddard, emphasizes that reality mirrors our inner state. When we want to change the reflection we see, most people mistakenly try to manipulate the mirror itself. Instead, we need to change the image we present to the mirror. It's like trying to influence someone by telling them directly what not to do, which often backfires. Instead, motivate and inspire them by explaining why a certain action might not be beneficial. They remain free to choose, but with a better understanding of the potential consequences, they are more likely to make a positive change. So, let's get started and explore how to effectively apply the mirror principle to create the life you desire. If you want to influence others effectively, it's often better to explain why something might not be in their best interest rather than just telling them not to do it. This indirect approach makes them more likely to listen and be influenced. The same principle applies to how we can shape our reality. Right now, in the 21st century, especially as we approach 2023, there is a unique opportunity to master this. Many people are increasingly focused on the outer world, social media, technology, and external achievements, while neglecting their inner selves. This shift has led us to lose touch with our inner capabilities. Someone who can turn inward and harness their inner strength will have a significant advantage. Now is the perfect time to focus on becoming your best self by learning to influence your world indirectly through internal development. Let's dive into the four laws that will help you shape reality to your desires, followed by the four keys to unlock these laws. Finally, we'll look at real-life examples of people who have successfully applied these principles. Stay with me until the end because I will reveal how the mirror cycle works, which will be a game changer for you. Starting with law number one, the mirror of reality reflects your relationship with yourself and the world. If you see yourself as not good enough, the mirror will reflect that belief back to you, reinforcing your feelings of inadequacy. Similarly, if you think now is not a good time to start a business or invest, the world will show you reasons to support that belief, such as economic downturns or rising interest rates. The reflection you see in the mirror of reality is a direct result of your internal beliefs about yourself and your worldview. To change this reflection, you need to change these internal beliefs. This principle is crucial. Your internal world shapes your external reality. Now the question is, how do we change this pattern 
and consciously choose the reality we want. You need to shape your own identity and worldview. By identity, I mean understanding who you are and what you want to achieve. By worldview, I mean how you see the world around you. Let me explain with an example. First, to form your identity, think about your long-term goals. Picture yourself 10 years from now. What do you want to be doing every day? What possessions or lifestyle would make your life feel like a continuous vacation? Now ask yourself, who am I in that future? What qualities do I possess to achieve those goals? Next, consider your worldview. How do you see the world when you have achieved those goals? Take a moment to write down these two things, a statement about your identity and a statement about your worldview. For example, you might write, I am worthy and capable. Abundance flows to me because of my unique abilities. Choose a few words that describe these traits like, I have the touch of a maestro, or I possess the heart of an alchemist. Read these statements every day. Your identity statement might be, I am worthy and good things come to me because of my strengths. Your worldview statement might be, the world supports me, and everything unfolds perfectly. By repeating these statements daily, you'll start to see changes in your reality. Now let's move on to the second key point. The reflection we see in our material world often comes with a delay. In our minds, we can instantly visualize the life we want. But in the physical world, changes take time. This third dimension operates with a delay but persistence will eventually align your external reality with your internal vision. The reason it takes time for your desires to manifest is because of the physical nature of matter. Matter has an inherent quality that makes instant manifestation impossible. It needs time to align with your intentions. This leads us to the next crucial point. You must hold on to your belief long enough for your desires to manifest. What this means is you need to maintain your identity and worldview consistently until your goals become reality. Essentially, who you pretend to be is who you'll eventually become. If you aspire to be a successful business owner, start by embodying that identity. Think and act like a successful business owner would. Persist with this mindset long enough and you'll notice changes in your reality. When people start practicing this, they often notice their life moving in waves. They adopt a new identity and mindset, hoping their goals will materialize. Initially, it might seem like nothing is happening, and this can lead to discouragement. However, just when their mood hits a low point, their desires begin to manifest. Unfortunately, this delay means that by the time their goals appear, their negative mood can influence the outcome causing another cycle of highs and lows. To break this cycle, you must consistently stay aligned with your chosen identity and worldview, regardless of the highs and lows. This consistency is key to making lasting changes in your life. Now, let's move on to another important point. The mirror of reality reflects not just your thoughts, but the essence of those thoughts. Let me explain. If you constantly express dissatisfaction, saying things like, I hate my job, I dislike my boss, or I can't stand these bills, the mirror doesn't reflect the emotion of hate itself. Instead, it reflects the content of your dissatisfaction. For instance, if you keep saying, I hate my job, the mirror will bring more job-related frustrations into your life. If you say, I hate my bills, you'll find yourself with more bills. The mirror amplifies the content of your thoughts. Therefore, it's crucial to focus on positive, constructive thoughts. This way, the mirror will reflect back positive outcomes aligned with your desires. Here's how it works. The rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poorer. Why? because the poor focus on what they lack, which only brings more lack into their lives. 
It's like a cycle. Complaining about what's missing reinforces their beliefs and identity. On the other hand, the rich focus on what they have and what they want. They keep their attention on abundance, and guess what? The universe responds by giving them more of what they desire. This mindset shift from scarcity to abundance makes all the difference. It's about seeing the glass as half full rather than half empty. So the key to unlocking this law is simple. Focus on what you want and what you already have. Let me give you an example to illustrate this further. Imagine someone in a corporate job feeling burnt out and wanting to switch to entrepreneurship. They're unclear about their goals and keep dwelling on their lack of clarity. It's like searching for a package in the mailroom half-heartedly because you're not sure if it's there. But when you receive a notification that the package has been delivered, your search becomes more focused and determined. Similarly, when you gain clarity about what you want in life, your path becomes clearer too. You stop fixating on what you lack and start focusing on your desires and strengths. If you're an entrepreneur stuck at a certain level, comparing yourself to others who are more successful only reinforces your current situation. Instead, shift your focus to what you have achieved and what you want to achieve next. Remember, to make any change happen, you need to shift your focus from what you lack to what you have. This mindset shift is what helped me transition from a corporate job to entrepreneurship, and it can do the same for you. We start here with the image we want to create. We turn away from looking at our current reality because we understand that what's around us now was shaped by decisions made in the past. You have to grasp this concept, or else nothing will change. If we want to shape tomorrow, we need to consciously choose what we do today. So we start here with the image we want. When we choose this image and say, this is what I want and what I have, the mirror has no choice but to start reflecting it little by little. Changes happen slowly, with a delay. Instead of just observing, we confirm. We peek into the mirror to see what's working. Hey, this is working. Look, that's happened. People are responding better to me. We focus on the things that align with the worldview and identity we've chosen to create. And I promise you, the more you do this, the more it snowballs into something beyond your imagination. When I started, I just wanted freedom from my 9-to-5 job, and all I needed was to earn enough to replace my engineering income. But now, we're hitting six-figure months, which completely blew my mind. So, if you start using these principles, your life will change completely, I guarantee it. Now let me share three case studies of our clients who use these four mirror laws to transform their lives. First, there's Tia. When she came to us, she was drowning in six-figure student loan debt, working two full-time jobs totaling 80 hours a week. She lacked confidence and clarity on how to change her situation. But after applying these principles, she now runs her own successful business, making 40K a month, and gets to spend quality time with her family. Then there's Louisa, who lost her job during the pandemic and struggled to grow her marketing business past six figures. But with the help of these mirror laws, she overcame obstacles and now runs a thriving business. She was stuck earning around 10K a month, mainly because she lacked clarity and confidence. She struggled to present her services confidently, didn't know where to find clients, and wasn't sure who her ideal clients were. After working together and applying the mirror principle, she now makes 30K a month doing what she loves. Principle number two was crucial for her because she was on the verge of giving up. But just when she was about to throw in the towel, everything started falling into place. By letting go of the importance and meaning she attached to her goals, she cleared the path for success. Another client, Bastian, owned a digital marketing agency and was earning around 20K a month. However, 
He wasn't passionate about his niche, lacked clarity about his direction, and struggled with self-doubt when presenting his services. But after implementing the mirror principles, he's now making over half a million a month. His transformation wasn't just about financial success. He changed as a person too. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Share this video with your friends and family who might benefit from it too. Also, make sure to check out my other similar videos. You can find them to your left and right. They're packed with more valuable insights and tips to help you on your journey to success. Now, before you go, I'd love to hear from you. What was the best part of this video for you? Let me know in the comments below. Your feedback helps me create more content that resonates with you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.